Hi, Al Selman here with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional, TGIF Today, God is First. Today's message is entitled, A Fine-Tuned Instrument. I will refine them like silver and test them like gold. They will call on my name and I will answer them. I will say, they are my people, and they will say, the Lord is my God. Zechariah 13, 9. My business career has been as an owner of an advertising agency. Over the years, I have had the privilege to work on many different and prestigious accounts. One of those accounts was Steinway Pianos, the maker of the world's finest pianos. Each piano has always been made from scratch. It takes over a year to make one Steinway. The most impressive scene as I toured the manufacturing plant was the place where the soundboard is stretched to its maximum tolerance and allowed to sit for an extended period until it remains in the curved design. This was done in an off-to-the-corner part of the plant. If the wood were alive, it would be crying out for mercy. After an extended time of stretching, the wood will never spring back to its original state. It is permanently changed. The piano is becoming a fine-tuned instrument. After this process takes place, the next step requires another point of stress. It takes 11 tons of pressure on a piano to tune it. Each step in the process moves the piano closer to a finished product that will ultimately be played by the world's finest musicians. These musicians desire a particular sound that only a piano like this can make. God looks at each of us as a fine-tuned instrument. However, we begin as rough wood that he desires to transform into gold. Tuning us requires certain experiences that will stretch our faith, our frame, and our very life. Sainthood springs out of suffering. If we can stand the strain of this intense process, we will come forth as gold as a sweet-smelling offering to our Maker. And when we are in the midst of these times, it feels like fire. It is painful to be stretched beyond our perceived limits, but the Lord knows this is necessary for us to become an instrument that can play a beautiful song that others will seek after. Let the master craftsman have his way in your life today. You will be pleased with the instrument he fashions. You know, the people God uses the most, he often allows them to go through the most adversity because of the message God's going to share through their life. We can see that in the life of the Apostle Paul and many of the other disciples, and God used them. And so perhaps you're going through adversity, and the reason you're going through adversity is because God has a fantastic plan that he's going to use in your life to share the gospel with many. So I want to pray for you today that God will give you the grace to walk through whatever he brings your way. Father, we thank you that all things work together for good and that you never waste an adversity. So use our adversity now to bless others and give us the grace to embrace whatever you take us through this day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless. Have a great day. 